Hi everyone, Alex with you. In this video I will show you how to make an object double-sided in 3ds Max. What do I mean? If we now create a teapot for the test and turn off its lid visibility, you can do this by selecting the kettle, going to the Modify tab in the command panel and the checkboxes that allow you to disable something. Here you can turn off the kettle body, here you can turn off the handle, we are interested in its lid. If we turn off the lid, we see it from the inside. But for understanding, the inside of the teapot is the back side, and the outside is its front part. And 3ds Max with the back sides doesn't always work the way we see it the viewport. In order to test what will actually happen, I will render the image. That is, uh, I'll go to the Render tab and click the Render button here. There are also hotkeys Shift Q or Shift F9. You can use one or the other. I will now select the button with the mouse and the image will be displayed. It renders and this is what I see. On the outside, where the outer part goes, we see the normal color of the object. Ok, maybe the situation is that there was simply no light source there, so it's dark there. But for the test, I will create, for example, a box behind the kettle. From this side, I will again select an angle, so that I can see both the outside of the kettle and the its inside. I will press F9 again to render. And look what happens. The inside, the back side cannot be rendered correctly because the object in this case requires the object to the double sided. That is, I must have a front side on both sides and now only on one side, only outside, but there is no front side inside. This is extremely easy to fix. We select an object and add the shell modifier to it. You can immediately see that the teapot has gained thickness. The inside is no longer so black and when you press the F9 key, it will also be rendered. That is, it is already rendered as a filled object. We render it as a two-sided object. Naturally, the thickness is too large. Therefore, the shell modifier has several useful parameters. In this case, we only need two parameters. Here you can also customize its material, many additional properties, but basically we will need two parameters, inner amount and outer amount. That is, we can adjust the thickness both inward and outward. Now there is already 1 cm of outer thickness. I can lower it and see how the thickness of the teapot becomes smaller and it is becomes visual pleasing. Naturally, it's better not to set it to zero, because it will go in spots like this. But some minimum value can be specified. How do these internal and external amounts differ from themselves? That is, externally, if I add it, it is squeezed out basically as if outward. The internal one will try to squeeze it in, logically. But something like this might turn out. You can adjust them together. But it is usually configured situationally, depending on the object you are modeling. The same thing can be tested and seen quite well on an object such as plane. To do this, I'll go back to create object in the command panel. I'll choose plane here. I'll create it. We can also understand that this object is seen and it is not double sided. That is, the wrong side is below, the front side is above. You can also check this, so F9. That is, I'm rendering the front side calmly. And if it's on the wrong side, that's empty. I add a shell modifier on top of this object. I received this voluminous box. And now I have both the inside and the outside rendered. Because this object is already frontal on all sides. And now, if I increase the outer amount, you can see that it is adding upward extrusion. If I add inner amount, it will try to add everything down. The pressure goes in the opposite direction. 
That is, you situationally choose where exactly you need to extrude your shape. It is clear that plane is a simple object, you can create a box instead. But it is worth understanding that this modifier can be used for more complex shapes and for more complex objects. That's probably all. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and it will only get more interesting.